Hi, my name is Hayley and my channel is all about dreadlocks and my dread journey. My dreads are one and a half months old, so they're very young and they are real dreads with human hair extensions attached. This video, I'm just going to share with you um, the things that I've bought for my dreads and some of them have helped majorly, um, some specifically for young dreads and then some just in general, they're going to help heaps. So I'm going to start off with the most important one, if you don't get any further in this video, this is the most important one, a hooded hair dryer. So this doesn't actually fit um, in the thing, but I'm sure you can see what it is. So I got this before I even got my dreads, specifically for my dreads. Um, and this makes drying them a breeze. Like I literally just sit in front of the TV and my hair dries. So yeah, I think that if you are gonna invest in anything, this was only a hundred dollars, a hundred Australian dollars. So it's probably um, less in USD. Is that right? Um, yeah, so I've, I'm so glad that I got that and I know even with this it takes like probably 40 minutes to an hour to dry, like I obviously don't sit there for that long, I like get up and then I'll go back and sit down, but um, I can't imagine how long my dreads would take to dry without this. The next thing I wanted to share was my giant dread shower cap. So. I bought this when um, first leaving Renata's and every night I put my hair, it takes like two seconds, this is how I will have a shower every night, twist up my dread bun and then I will put this giant chef hat on my dreads and this is how I have a shower. <laughs> So I know it looks ridiculous, but I really am used to it now. And um, it's helped majorly. Like I just don't have to worry about my dreads getting wet at all in the shower. So I would get one of those. Um, and then favorite thing about having dreads, um, like other than you wake up with cool hair every single day, um, is the fact that you can decorate them. So my beads are, I love them so much and I'm actually so sad because my dreads have gotten thinner since I washed them so they fall off everywhere. I need to get smaller ones but um, when you're first getting dreads it's really cool to be able to decorate your hair because you can't really do that with normal loose hair. So the way that I put my beads on, um, I will actually, because I've got wispy ends so the bead, like I can't just get it on by doing that. Um, so I get a bobby pin and I will like put like the dread in between the bobby pin and then I'll put the um, bead on top of the bobby pin and just pull it through. So that's how I get all my beads on. Um, I have to get more though, because like I said, they're all falling off. Um, just need to get smaller ones, but they're, I love them. They're so pretty and yeah, <laughs> they're amazing. So the next thing that I wanted to mention that has really helped me keep my dreads um, neat because I had a girl asking me about this the other day. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video on how I personally wash my dreads specifically because they're young. Um, but I do palm roll them after I wash them. And I use this aloe manuka gel from Raw Roots. Um, I'll link everything down below just so you know as well. Um, I palm roll all my dreads with this um, after, like while they're wet. And my boyfriend even noticed I had palm rolled like one section and then I let some loose dreads out um, to continue palm rolling and he was like, whoa, they are like so much fluffier than the ones at the bottom. And that's because I had palm rolled them. And then once I've palm rolled them like with the gel, I'll then go and dry them and the gel is natural, so it's not going to leave like, it's not like wax or anything, it's not going to leave residue. But because I dry them straight after I palm roll them, um, it sort of dries them in that shape and with all the hairs like sort of 
gelled down so yeah I think that has helped me massively um, tomorrow is my washing day so you can see that everything's like very fluffy right now um, I don't really want to get them maintained or anything because I want to just have a messy phase see how they go but they're super fluffy right now um, so yeah hopefully after I wash them tomorrow they will be a little bit more compact and neater but yeah they do get fluffy during the week the other things that I have are spiral locks so I'm gonna be honest I don't really wear these um, I wore this one the other day because it matched my blue lipstick but um, you can really tie your hair up with your own dreads at any time and it actually looks really cool the fact that it is tied up with your own dreads so I was under the impression that spiral locks were going to be amazing for me um, before I had dreads and now I realize that I don't really use um, them scrunchies are actually pretty good though like if you just want to do like a, a loop or a little bun at the bottom of your head you just put the scrunchie around it it will hold it you could do that with the spiral lock as well but I just find these like quicker and easier um, so I've got heaps of scrunchies love them um, and they do look really cute with dreads so another thing that I got, and these are actually really good specifically for young dreads um, because they're just headbands, but because you have a lot of frizz, even when you have mature dreads, I'm pretty sure that you get like a lot of loose hair and frizz up the top. Um, like if you put your hair up, then there's like a lot of these frizzy bits that just are like, unwanted and unnecessary <laughs> so if I ever put my hair up in a bun or anything like that I might just grab the black one then um, I'll put this over and this will hide all of your frizzies um, and like your dreads will still look cool but at least you can't see any frizzy parts and then it still looks like your hair is totally neat and amazing um, this is also really good I use it in the mornings because I used to use a headband with like forks in it to ho hold my hair back when I had loose hair um, and now I just use a headband when I'm doing my makeup so I can get around like the hairline and stuff so yeah they these like headbands have been really helpful I think that was it I think that's it I just wanted to give you a little list of the dread products that I have um, and how they've helped me so I hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah if you would like to check out my Instagram I'll link that below as well as like all these products probably like not the scrunchies because I think I got them from Kmart but um, you get the point like I think the hooded hair dryer and the raw roots stuff and the headbands um i'll link them down below <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching my video um if you enjoyed it please subscribe so my next one will um you'll see it and yeah i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye